Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the new Long Range Invisible Ethernet Bridge. The Bridge Kit is a point-to-point -point antenna system that includes everything you'll need. There are two antennas labeled side A and B, a pair of wall and window mounts, pole mounting hardware, poles and bases including the screws for those, as well as a detailed instruction manual. The manual includes photographs with clear detail on how to use each piece of the kit. Setting everything up is very easy and no advanced networking knowledge is required. The bridge kit can be used in a number of different situations, including securely linking two buildings that are outside the reach of traditional Wi-Fi. Because this is a point-to-point -point system, the bridge kit can function at ranges up to and over one mile with proper installation. The two antennas of the bridge kit come to you as a pre-configured pair, labeled Side A and Side B to reflect the instruction guide. The antennas are completely waterproof and are meant for outdoor use. Each antenna can mount in a number of different ways including pole mounting, window or wall mounting, or zip ties for temporary installation. Each antenna has a series of lights including a power light, network access, and a signal meter to tell you how strong the connection is between each antenna. Each antenna is powered by PoE or Power Over Ethernet. If you've never used PoE before, it's very simple. The first thing you'll use is your PoE injector. One side is labeled PoE and the other LAN for connecting into your network. You're going to connect the PoE side into an Ethernet cable that runs to your antenna. Your off-the-shelf Cat5 cable will work perfect for powering the antennas. However, if you'll be installing these in more extreme environments, you may want to consider an outdoor cable. Now that our antenna is receiving power from our injector, the second thing we need to do is hook it into our network. Using another Ethernet cable, we'll connect one side to the LAN port of the injector and connect it to the rest of our network. Side A of the antenna hooks into your router, whereas side B will go to your network to device, either another router, IP camera, or device that you're trying to bring access to. With the bottom cover replaced, your Ethernet cable is now set up and your antenna is receiving power. But what about mounting options? The first mounting option you have is the included wall and window kits. The kit comes with the included hardware you need, including the screws and anchors. There is a bottom piece with the suction cup mount for aiming the antenna through a window. The suction cup is also replaceable then with the wall mount. These have the holes already pre-drilled in them and it's a very simple installation. The antenna then mounts onto here with a cap that secures it into place. And then of course the back piece that the antenna actually sits into. This is how you'll aim the bridge kit through a window. Aiming through a window is not ideal because it will reduce some of the range, however this is the simplest mounting option available. The mount swivels left and right as well as tilts vertically so you can still get a good aim on your other antenna. For indoor wall mounting or trying to cover large indoor areas with the kit, you'll switch the suction cup for the wall mount. If you have an existing pole at the property you'll be installing this, included are two sets of pole mounts. The included teeth ensure your antenna will not be moving. There's also a holder for the antenna and convenient markings to tell you exactly where this is aimed. Also included are a set of poles and bases that can be used along with the U-bolt. This heavy duty base and pole mount are fully adjustable for any surface and will mount either horizontally or vertically. With side A and side B powered and mounted, the only thing you have to do is aim them towards each other and wait to see the link lights on the back. After that, you're done. To show you how easy this is, this is our side B antenna. It's aimed at side A which is already plugged in and connected to the network. In less than a minute each antenna will connect to each other and you'll get one through four signal lights depending on how strong the strength is. No matter what environment and how you plan to use the bridge kit, it includes everything you need from pre-configured antennas, mounting options, and a simple user manual that's easy to follow. For more information visit 3gstore.com bridgekit and for more videos like this be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.